Hey, this is James McGregor here with my lovely wife, Sarah. My daughter, Casey, he was hiding behind pillows back there. And my son, Jamie. We're on our way down to Canton Beach. We're going to be camping and uh, we are ready to get our vacation started. We are here. Get it. Move. I got it right here. So we got here and we got set up just in time for the rain. So I'm going to go crawl inside the tent and wait for this rain to stop, which should pass over pretty fast. Alright, storm is now over and now we are ready to go play in the sun and lake. And the kids already beat me to it. What, what baby? This is the best time. Well, good. I'm glad you're having a good time. This is the best, best this time. It is. Yeah. We're now eating supper. What are you eating, sis? I'm eating a hamburger and some hamburger. Hamburger. I'm eating some hot, some hamburger and some chips. Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Then, once there was three giant tents for the dinosaurs. Then, the dinosaurs loved their tents because the stegosaurus had, the stegosaurus had, steg, the stegosaurus sleeping bag had, had spinosauruses on it. Once upon a time, there was Yoko and Sunny. And 
Yoko, they were playing out of game. You mean there was two Yokos? No. You mean it was Flower and Sunny and Yoko? Not really. You know I hate that crap. No, but seriously, Canton does have a, a campfire tale. The story goes that Mr. Canton inherited a bunch of land. And Mrs. Canton found this spot that she really liked. Well, supposedly, this land was cursed, and everyone told him not to build a house there. But Mrs. Canton wasn't superstitious, so she had Mr. Canton go ahead and build his house. Well, they lived there happily for, you know, a few years, and until uh, one night, Mrs. Canton chopped Mr. Canton up into a bunch of little pieces. And then she put uh, Mr. Canton's shotgun in her mouth, and boom, blew off her head. Anyway, um, everyone, you know, was afraid that the house being cursed, the land being cursed, and the house cursed, they tore down the house, and instead of moving the bodies from the land, they just buried the bodies on the land. Uh, they was afraid if they had moved the bodies they might move the curse too so supposedly out here somewhere is two graves of Mr. and Mrs. Canton. It is morning now. Sarah, Casey, and Jamie, they are still asleep in the tent. I'm gonna walk over here and see if I can get them sleep. Good morning. Morning, Casey. So sleepy. through the woods right now in search for the graves of Mr. and Mrs. Canton. I'm just curious. I'm going to see if I can find them and see how true the story is. So far I've been searching a little while and I've not found nothing that indicates an old house used to be there or a graveyard. It's mostly a bunch of old trees that have fallen down and debris and stuff that's maybe washed up from the lake. That looks like it could be a piece of an old house. A piece of wood. Wow, there they are. Wow, so the story is true. Alright, I have found what it appears to be the graves of Mr. and Mrs. Canton. Also, I have found a little bit of wood. I'm going to walk around a little more and see if I can see if I can find more pieces of the house. I would say that this was probably part of the house that was torn down. 
And then there's the two graves of Mr. and Mrs. Canton that they buried. Not moving them from their grounds. Sarah is going to freak. I better not tell her about this until after we leave tomorrow. Alright, this looks like it could have been some more of the house. There's some framework. Well, it looks like it looks like it would have been a really old house, but it was probably a really long time ago. Just the way the wood's put together and stuff. I do not see any more. A lot of that could be buried too, being so old. But with the graveyard and the pieces of the old house, it definitely confirms the story. Come on, let's go. Get your lantern. Sis, wait up for me. What? I'm slow. Hold your lantern up, we can't see. Mommy, hold it up in front of us so we can see. Hold it that way so we can see where we're going. It's really dark out here. Yeah. Wait up for Daddy. <laughs> Let me walk in front of you so I can see you. Sarah, oh God, something's okay, Casey, Jimmy's dead, Sarah, 